What's going on YouTube? Today we're talking travel. I'm gonna go ahead and put the camera up on a tripod and we're gonna go over this. All right. So basically I have a list for two different types of people. People who are occupied with school or career, basically somebody with strings. Uh, also I've compiled this for people without any strings that don't have kids, don't don't have any major bills, don't have mortgage, huge car payments, anything like that. Basically, first things first, eliminate your bills. Most of us probably pay anywhere from 80 to $120 a month on a single phone bill that has, you know, unlimited data, unlimited texting and calling and all. Nobody needs all that. Everybody has Facebook nowadays. Wi-Fi is everywhere. Get rid of your phone bill. Over here, we got car payments, cell phones. Uh, I already went over that. Fast food and eating out. I, I know people who spend over $400 a month just on fast food. Are you kidding? Um, Amazon splurging. Some people have their credit card and debit card info saved in the Amazon and eBay apps. Delete that. Delete that stuff in there. Like I guarantee you, you'll find yourself forgetting that you did that and you'll go to buy something and you'll be like, oh, I gotta put it in there but I don't really need this fluffy, I don't know, steering wheel cover. So, I don't know, don't buy that stuff. Savings accounts, stashes, you know, get like a coffee can like the old days, you know, keep it up in the cupboard and start slipping $100 bills in there. You don't need to save that and go splurge, go eat, go, go out to eat, you know. I spend less than, say, 200 bucks a month if I'm like eating a lot on groceries. And that's healthy food. So all the people who say that you can't eat healthy for cheap, if I'm lying. Um, yeah, so car payments, cell phones, fast food and eating out, Amazon splurging, control your grocery shopping, go shopping when you're full, after you've eaten. Because I've done that before. I've gone into the grocery store hungry and have literally purchased almost everything I saw. You know, ooh, a box of drumsticks, you know, I don't want just the variety pack. I want all caramels. You just start you start buying a lot of stuff that you don't actually need, you know? Um, con so controlling your grocery shopping and getting like a legit savings account. Some people get savings accounts, but they dip into them like all the time. Stop doing that. Savings accounts are for a reason. If you want to travel, this is how you do it. It's putting away money and a lot of people say they can't do it because they have school or a career or they don't make enough. No, it's not that you don't make enough, it's that you're spending too much. Okay, so for the people without ties, fishing season up in Alaska. And you can fish for salmon. You can get on a boat out there or you go work for um, like a company like uh, Trident Seafoods, Alaskan Seafoods, uh, Peter Pan Seafoods, American Seafoods. There's so many different seafood companies out there that have plants like it's like an industrial environment so yeah it's not that fun but you'll work long hours you get paid there's people who will work like three months and walk away with 10 grand what are you gonna do for three months just sit on the couch and watch TV you could make 10 grand um, yard work Caleb and I we made about a grand a week pulling weeds for people work is out there you just gotta find it um, my sister babysits, you know, a lot of the girls, they can babysit, they can do more house cleaning type of work. You can still find that stuff. Seasonal jobs, like summer jobs, there's seasonal jobs everywhere, like that will hire you for a couple months, then let you go. It's not, you know, it's not a bad thing. They're not firing you. Also, if you're going to start backpacking around Europe and you want to kind of save your money, get backpacking equipment. Caleb and I, we spent $500 and we bought some of the best backpacking equipment you can buy. If you're traveling, you can go on play, on like websites like couchsurfer.com, literally pay dirt cheap to stay on someone's couch. Yeah, it sounds sketchy, but it's just like Airbnb, you know? It's that simple. Um, stop spending. If you wanna go, start researching that place and become invested in the idea. That's how you can travel. That's how you pay for your traveling. No one's gonna give you the money to buy the plane tickets to where you wanna go. You have to do it. All right, my name is Shane Marshall from the YouTube channel SV Something Else, and I hope you've learned something. Take it easy. <laughs>